You want to clap? Go ahead and clap. It is done. It is done. Be seated. We have three testimonies to validate what we are talking about. Each testimony will take like one minute. So about the next three minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Those testifiers, can you come out? Can you make microphone available? Please come. We have about three testimonies. Is it three? It's like we now... Okay, okay, okay. There are leaders of the school. So we have them. Um, you want to introduce yes, sir. Go ahead and do your, your business, sir, your job. I mean, but just spare us. You know, we have we have no time like um sir. You know me, I don't like too much protocol. Come up, <laughs> come on, 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 come on. These are students of Ruak, Ruak School of yeah, Ruak, Ruak School of Supernatural Encounters. What you call school of the Holy Spirit is where God is doing something for the future. So I think delegates from the school, they come to, to grace our church and to inform you of what God is doing. And then about three people among them, briefly, briefly, briefly. Good morning, Lee. I am Engineer Elizabeth Jackson. Engineer from... like you can engineer something? That's what you mean? Okay, go ahead. We're from the school of the Holy Spirit. Just like um, our father will always say, give yourself the greatest gift. The Bible says in Acts of Apostles chapter 1 verse 8, it said, you shall be filled with power when the Holy Spirit come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Judea, Samaria and Jerusalem. So here with me we have witnesses from the school of the Holy Spirit to speak and testify what God has done in their life. For those of us who is just hearing the word school of the Holy Spirit, I term the word the school of transformation from ordinary to extraordinary. Please let's celebrate this testifier. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Please, you tell us your name and tell us what God has done in the process. Good morning, family. My name is Imo Jones Team, and I have two testimony. Uh, the first one talks. The first one is about transformation, and the second one is a, a breakthrough. I, when I came to the school of the Holy Spirit, I actually somebody paid for me. And another person also volunteered and paid. And well, before I even started, I, God blessed me and I was able to pay for three other people also. Praise the Lord. What God did for me, number one, I, God uh, delivered me from uh, fornication. I, I used to have that challenge. Hallelujah. What actually happened when I noticed that God has delivered me was December when my friend took me out on a sit-out, that was December last year, and there's a girl I, I knew, and we, we lost contact, and I saw her, and this strong feeling started coming on me very seriously, that I should uh, ask her to come, and I was battling, and something was telling me, you're now in the school of the Holy Spirit, that you're going to sin against the Holy Spirit. So it was really very intense for about an hour. I was struggling with that spirit, but I thank God, I was able to overcome it. And as I'm speaking with you, I don't have that desire for fornication. Hallelujah. The second testimony, the second testimony I have, I borrowed uh, some money, I think 2018. I had a business transaction, so I collected seven million for that business. And I used my land as a stake. I staked my land for that business. And the guy that gave me the money stays in the U.S., so I, he sent somebody to inspect the land, and we signed an agreement, and he couriered the document to the guy in the U.S. And I was not happy about it. I had to use my land. I actually had a confidence that that business is going to go through, but it failed. So I lost that land. And every year, the guy keeps on calling that I should look for a buyer to uh, buy the land. So, and finally, I think it was uh, last year, I, he call, I think he called me once and asked me that I should look for a buyer to buy the land. And I wasn't happy about it. Then something happened. I had, I had a challenge about two major challenges and I needed money seriously. So I had to look for a buyer and I sold the land. 
and I used and solved that situation. But before I did that, I knelt down on my bed because of the fear of God that have entered me in the school of the Holy Spirit. I said, God, I have a need and I want to solve this need. I cannot solve it at this point. I'm going to sell this land, but I'm trusting you that you're going to give me money before the guy comes into Nigeria so I can refund the money. So I sold the land. And while I was in service, one of the classes, the man of God was ministering. And normally I don't like looking into my, my phone. So I had to on my data and I opened my WhatsApp. And I was so surprised. I saw a, a message from him. And I was surprised. I, don't, I didn't even expect, we've not talked for months. So I didn't even expect anything from him. So I was thinking maybe he's sending me an offer of something. So I opened the WhatsApp while the pastor was preaching. I opened, I didn't want to open it, but I was disturbed because each time I see his call or message, I'll be afraid. So I opened the WhatsApp, and guess what I saw? He said, your dates are forgiven. Hallelujah to Jesus. He said, your dates are forgiven. I didn't, I didn't believe it. I had to send him a message while still in church. I said, why do you have to forgive me the, the, the seven million? He said, I just want to bless you. And you know, what really surprised me? What, what really surprised me was that I look at the time, he's in Texas, so I look at the time, by that time he should be sleeping. This is about, about 9.30 or so, pastor was preaching. So why, what wake this guy up around, around that time? I think it should be 3, 3 a.m. in the morning for him to send me that text. So I want to bless the name of the Lord, that the Lord has saved me, and I am not owing anybody. Hallelujah. And he sent those documents down to Nigeria. But the funniest thing is that the person they sent those documents to have not delivered the document. I don't need it again because I have already sold the land. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is what we call transformation. Good morning, family. I am Regina Mary Alexis. Um, since 2019 that I was done with my first degree, it seemed like my, educational, my education had a stop because I didn't have any means to further my education. And what was worst was that I was so busy, but I didn't have any substantial thing to show. I would work and I would not be paid. I would do businesses and it would crumble. So my life was just going from one frustration to another. But when I signed up for the School of the Holy Spirit, I just sat under the administration of the Holy Spirit because in the school, it is the Holy Spirit that speaks to you directly from God's servant. I sat under the ministration of the Holy Spirit, and it was as if a placard was removed from my face. I could now see my life going down the drain, and I received the passion in my spirit to speak into my life. And as I began to speak into my life, doors opened, and I had a full sponsorship for my education. That is not all. I also... I had a word of God came to me directly, Isaiah 60 verse 1, which says, Arise, for your light has come, and the glory of God is upon you. Family, that word put a pressure on my spirit, and I, I, I sat in a place with God. That led me to start a business which is constantly flourishing. And I can tell you the future of that business. It is beautiful. And I've come to return all the glory to God, and also to encourage you to sit in this ministration of the Holy Spirit. Good morning, family. For web court purposes, my name is Machin I'm the one that got saved from addiction of drug. I started smoking benzene and hedges from my age of eight years old. Then when I get to 15 years, I became addicted to smoking, both Indian hem and the rest of them. Then I travel abroad. I began to crack cocaine, smoke every other things that is higher than cocaine. But when I came back, I still be born, I got born, got born again. I will come to church. Before I will come to church, I will go and smoke. Or I always have my perfume in my, in my pocket. I will be smoking and I will be speaking in tongues. My wife will have fought for it. I said, no, this is what God has created. It's grass. I will smoke it, but I do come to church. But when I entered and enrolled in the school of the Holy Spirit, 36 years, 
and smoked for 36 years. When I enrolled in the school of the Holy Spirit, I remember Father says that if it makes sense, you stay. If you don't make sense, say stay. Within small time, even in my work, I'm a driver now. If a passenger annoys me, every five, five minutes or 30 minutes, I will leave my distance and find where there's a certain uh, Igbo I will buy. Leave my job and be smoking. But along the line, when I started in, in the school of the Holy Spirit, all the urge and everything has gone. And my advice to many of us here, because we thought that it's high, highness, it does not high. It came to a time that the thing does not high me again. So I will be smoking every 15, 15 minutes. What I noticed that when you are smoking, the cells will be dying small, small, and you will not know. It will sap off your stamina. And also, I testified the other time that God made me a machine. Because he have removed that smoking and everything, the arteries and the cells began to be correct. I, before, I was the one that is making an excuse to my wife, I'm tired, I'm this one. But now, she's the one that I'm sick, I'm this one. May God be different. Good morning, family. My name is Bless Lady Dio. I'm here to testify. My testimony is in the power of deliverance. God has delivered me from 12 years menstrual cramps. When I mean 12 years menstrual cramps, it is not a joke. Though people may say, uh, it just, is it not just cramps? People suffer from cramps, like half cramps as normal thing. Yes, it was normal at a point because I suffered this for 12 years. Right from 2012, I think a few years after I, when I started seeing my mess, I didn't observe that. I didn't suffer from it. But at a point, it became intense that <laughs> it got to a point I'll be menstruating and vomiting. I'll be rolling on the floor, back to front. It, like, everything was just abnormal. I went through those pains till 2023 when I joined the School of the Holy Spirit. I remember one of the teachings we had that talked about family patterns, negative patterns. I got the insight that this was a pattern for me. It's, it came, like, it's like my mom. My mom still suffers the same thing. When she's menstruating, she becomes totally sick. Very sick that... She started taking drugs. Sometimes they just call it malaria drugs. Yes, I, I also suffered from it. Doctors would tell me, it is a normal thing. Don't worry, when you give birth, all of this will go. I, I was like, okay. I became normal. I, normal to read that. I won't go anywhere when I'm menstruating. I will just be at home, vomiting. Worst of it all, I won't eat. So I'll be so dried up and look like... I've been sick for years. But when I came into the School of the Holy Spirit last year, I undergo through those teachings and I engage the Holy Spirit. When Father said, pray against negative patterns and negative emotions, which I did. And along the way, I didn't notice this had left me. To the glory of God, around August, I was like, ah, I'm not having pains when I'm menstruating again. Even as I'm speaking. I'm not, I'm not more experiencing pains. I'm just normal. It comes as a normal flow. Second deliverance is deliverance from ulcer. I, I was, I experienced ulcer right from when I came in here to you for my education, level 100. I barely, I barely eat, so I developed ulcer at a point. And then I suffered this for since then till last year. I could eat, I would eat, and I would still be having pains. So when these two pains come together, I'll be so down. I'll look like, I'll, you, can, you can even look at me and you're like, this girl is dying, but no. It's, these pains ate me up, ate everything I had in my, in my body. And I kept suffering from this, but when, this also is a family pattern. My uncle have it, my, my aunties have it, my daddy has it. And it also passed on to me. But to the glory of God, I am free from it. As I'm speaking to you now, right from last year, 
Um, when, I, when I engaged the Holy Spirit about negative patterns in my life, right from then, I know my experience pains. I'm living a normal life as a girl, and I'm living a normal life as a person. All to the glory of God. I want to advise you that there is nothing God cannot do. If he can deliver me from all of this, if he can heal me and give me a new life, I believe he can do the same for you. Yeah, conclude. <laughs> you can give yourself that greatest gift by getting enrolled into the school of the Holy Spirit. Now, the registration is still ongoing from now to 3rd of May, 2024. No, not Please. 3rd of May, the registration collecting and submitting form ends on the 28th, two weeks from now, 28th of this month. But graduation and of the, the, the complete, you know, the immediately, the, the immediate past session, what concluded yesterday, um, and the inauguration of the 2024-2025 session will be on the 4th, the 4th of May. But forms, everything about forms, collecting and submitting, lasts till the 28th of April to give us one week to prepare for students. Please permit me to invite you all to our graduation 2023-2024 on the 4th of May. Please, you are invited. See you there. Celebrate the goodness of the... Is that how you celebrate the goodness of the... It's okay, it's okay. <laughs>